Today's topic is vocal cord nodules. Vocal cord nodules are benign white masses that form on the vocal cords. Vocal cords, also called vocal folds, are folds of tissue made up of a delicate lining on the outside. This lining is very soft and fine and can be easily injured. During speech, the vocal cords touch each other several times per second. This puts too much stress on that delicate lining. Trauma to the vocal cords without adequate rest can make that lining swell. With time, the swelling gets firmer until it forms a nodule. Around 10% of nodules resolve on their own. They tend to form mostly at the midpoint of the vocal cords. Both young and adult, men and women can be affected. However, women who are between the ages of 20 and 50 years are more prone to vocal cord nodules. Causes Vocal cord nodules form as a result of trauma to the vocal cord, caused by excessive misuse of the voice. This may include speaking in an improper pitch, speaking excessively, screaming or yelling, the excessive use of the voice while sick. Some certain factors that can predispose an individual to vocal cord nodules. Professions such as cheerleading, coaching, and activities such as teaching without voice amplification, untrained singing. Gender, as the condition is more prevalent in women. Dehydration. Inflammatory factors such as alcohol use, acid reflux, allergies, and tobacco use. Respiratory infection. Hormonal imbalance. Some certain medications. Symptoms. Hoarse voice quality. Breathiness. Pain in the larynx. Loss of vocal range. Vocal fatigue. A lumpy feeling in the throat. Increased effort to speak or sing. Diagnosis. Diagnosing this condition may include a thorough evaluation of both medical history and voice history. The otter laryngologist will carry out a careful examination of the head and neck and visualization of the vocal cords, typically using laryngeal videostroboscopy imaging technique. Visualization is regarded as the main method of diagnosis. This imaging technique is mostly used for visualizing the vocal cord and the larynx. It helps the doctor to assess both the general appearance of the vocal cord and the vibratory characteristics of the vocal cord. Treatment The most common treatment options for vocal cord nodules include voice therapy, voice rest, and vocal training. Treating any medical condition that is causing your voice problem may be required. Infections, allergies, and acid reflux may need to be treated before the nodules disappear. Treatment technique concentrates on educating individuals, especially professional voice users, about safe voice practices and vocal hygiene. This treatment is administered by a speech-language pathologist. In rare cases, surgery may be recommended. Surgery includes removing the vocal cord nodules. It is relatively simple and safe. This is mostly done if the size of the nodules are big or have been there for a long time. To facilitate healing, vocal rest for a period of a few days to a few weeks is recommended. Professional singers are advised to take serious considerations before surgery, as it may affect the inability to alter the vocal range. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.